Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trails of Zero. Today, we're kind of taking cover here in the IBC building, because Crossbell is under attack, and the army is pretty much all under the influence of that Gnosis drug. They've attacked the Bracer Guild, and they attacked the police station as well. So we don't know how everybody in Crossbell is doing, but we're safe, and Kia is safe, which is imperative because according to Renee, she is like at the root of everything. She's she's the key to the DG Colts plan, and we've got to keep her safe no matter the cost. She seems fine, though. She's sleeping peacefully. She's not really having any bad dreams or anything. Oh. 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 So cute. Anything else to say? No, just sleeping. Well, what about you? Oh. No kidding, we could not have let them uh, get captured or hurt or anything. That really would have been very, very bad. So let's head on down. We're going to start at the basement and then work our way up um, through here. Let's see. There are some various people down here that I do want to talk to, and you're going to want to go ahead and talk to everyone, even the NPCs, just for the, you know, the different dialogue and everything. This is the only time that we have, actually have a chance uh, to talk to these various people. We can't actually leave here. We can't go into Crossbell and get any more NPC dialogue because we're kind of barricaded in here. So, yeah. Maria Bell and Croix, they rescued us last time, so that was kind of nice. Oh. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, all the phone lines have been cut and we can't contact anybody, so we're trying our best to use the Orbital Network to maybe contact um, the outside world, essentially. Tangram Gate, maybe, or some of the other villages. Or Jonah, that works too. Hopefully he's okay. Oh. Oh, yeah, if he could ever leave his little pit that he's in. <laughs> yeah, Tio is still kind of, um, she's a cold one, I've got to say, but I think that deep down inside, she's actually a pretty nice girl. Okay, let's go up to the first floor, see what we got going on here. And, yeah, we have Gulamain here, we have, um, areas that we can go to, to, um, buy new weapons, buy new armor, buy items, buy quartz, all that kind of stuff. So don't worry about that. If you want to set up your party, now is the final opportunity to set up your party. Oh, yeah. How did you get to the bank anyway? It is rather odd that he's here, but eh, whatever. Oh, well how could you possibly be of use to us? Oh, okay. So whenever you were running away from the army, you ran from downtown all the way to the IBC. You got in at the same time that we got in? Like, what'd you do? Follow the limousine in or something? And you brought all your crap with you? That's just odd. Yeah, that is true. So, talk to him again. And remember how we talked to Imelda and we gave her all those Dark Dr. Glens? Well, she gives these a Muria stone. And now is the time to use that stone. Speaking of those Dark Dr. Glenn books, um, I know that I said this before, but I will be having a bonus episode going through that entire book series uh, at the end of this entire Let's Play as far as a bonus episode is concerned. Oh! Really? So you can process this the uh, Zemuria stone. That's really nice. Oh, and we need more power! Oh, well, yeah. Okay. Oh, sure. Yeah, so we need one stone for one weapon, and we only have one stone. 
So let me go through these various weapons. The weapon for Ellie is going to give her 175 strength, 5 range, and 100% dexterity. That's hit percentage. Pretty nice. Tio is going to give her 250 strength, 20 art attack power, 2 range, and a 20% chance for instant death. The problem with that is, though, Tio's probably going to be casting. Same thing with Ellie. They're probably going to be casting during boss fights, so even though their weapons are really nice, they're really better suited for Lloyd and Randy. As far as Randy is concerned, his gives him 185 strength, 1 extra range, and a 20% chance of burn. So those weapons are nice, but the weapon that I want is for Lloyd. It gives him 180 strength, 30 defensive power, 10% dexterity, and 10% agility. So it's very, very nice for Lloyd, and I know that he will be in my party uh, the entire time. Because, spoiler alert, we're going to have some other people join us shortly. And uh, hey, we get the All-Rounder, and the Achievement Supreme Sword. Sweet! Oh, well, yeah, glad that we could do you a favor, I guess. Okay. So let's go ahead and equip that on him. Let's see. Yeah, very, very nice. I like it for the extra evasion. The defense is always very nice. Um, you know, it's just pretty cool. Let's see, we can also open up some more slots. We might as well open up some slots for, um, everybody. Let's see, we can... So the, the thing is about the girls, like, it's very expensive to open up these slots. Like, these slots are all in one line, and as you get further down the line, they get extraordinarily expensive. Look at this slot for Tio. It's insane how much it costs to open up those slots, whereas for the boys, they're really kind of cheap to open. Let's see, we can open up those, but I still can't afford to open up these slots for them, but it's not that big of a deal. So yeah, go ahead and do that. Um, I think I'm pretty good on quartzes. I don't really care about getting this other stuff. I guess I can get it, well, meh, I should be fine with the attack threes and things like that. Um, I already have action threes. Those are really the main things that you want to go ahead and grab. Um, you know, everything else, it's really up to you if you want to get this stuff. I think I am fine, so I'm not going to worry about it. So let's see, that's done with that. Oh, hey, it's Randy. Hey there. Yeah, what's going on? Oh, well, yeah, that's good. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> he just goes, woof. <laughs> oh. Okay. Hey there, Zai. He's got it under control. He has his sixth sense for us, so that'll help. Oh. Yeah, no kidding. Okay. So yeah, you can go ahead and buy some equipment here if you want to. It's the same stuff that the weapon shop sold earlier, so the only thing that I really want to buy is a full metal coat for Tio, just to give her a little upgrade. So we'll go ahead and grab that. Everything else, though, if you really want to buy some accessories and things like that for, um, you know, blocking KO and other stuff, you can. Again, I don't think it's all that necessary. On harder difficulty levels, yeah, I would do it, but not that necessary. I mean, if you haven't bought status protection accessories up to now because your difficulty was, was either, you know, too easy or whatever, then the final dungeon isn't going to make that much of a difference. And besides, you get plenty as it is in the various treasure chests to strewn about, as long as you've gotten all the chests and everything. Do you have anything else? Yeah, so you can exchange quartz, exchange other stuff here if you want to. This is the exchange shop that you could find in, um... Uh, what is it? Downtown area. So you could do that if you want to. Um, not going to. Let's see. Let's go ahead and put down that full metal coat. Give her that upgrade. And we have a guard over here that we can talk to. Hey there. Oh. Okay. Can we leave? No, we can't. Well, sure. So, let's see, we've done the basement, we've done the first floor, let's head on back up to the 16th floor, because there's someone very special waiting for us. Oh, look, it's Ellie. And whoever is up here is going to be your bonding event. This is called the IBC Finale. 
bonding event. Thanks for interrupting me, Ellie. And basically, you get this event by having hidden bonding points with each character. Up until now, if you did everything that I did, you should have 45 points with each character. If you made all the right decisions in that race with Randy way back at the beginning of the game, and you did his various quests and things like that, then you will have 45 bonding points. Uh, as far as Tia is concerned, if you've done all of her various quests and uh, everything else, you know, you'll get 45 bonding points. As far as Ellie, it's kind of hard to get bonding points with Ellie. So that's why I took her along with me on the, um, oh, what was it? The, uh, the Swartz Auction event. So to get extra bonding points with Ellie, that really helped out. And then you also get more bonding points by using the uh, combination text with each character. So, um, because I've been using Ellie's combination attack more than anybody else's combination attack, just through regular gameplay, it looks like I got Ellie as my, um, as my bonding event character. So, I am going to go back and, um, use combination crafts with Tio and with Randy and up their bonding event, at, or their, their bonding points as well, so that in a special bonus episode, I can show you Tio and Randy's bonding event as well. Also, you can raise your hidden bonding points by purchasing, like, room decorations, furniture for each character. I think it's like a Mishi poster, a vase, um, a set of darts, an Ilya poster per character. Also, if you want to, you can go over to the Genkin Court Shop and you can um, change the orbit cover for a character and that will up their, their hidden bonding points with you as well. So there's ways to kind of manipulate the uh, hidden bonding points and get the character that you want. I do think that it's most fitting for Lloyd to have a bonding event with Ellie right here. It just it just seems more fitting. You know, they're of the same age and all that kind of stuff. It's not like he's, you know, bonding with Tio, who's only 14, or Randy, you know. So I just think that this is fitting, so I chose her as, like, the main bonding event. But again, I will be having a bonus episode that shows off Tio and Randy's uh, bonding events as well. So look forward to that. I'll probably put that immediately following this episode, actually. And I'll go ahead and throw Ellie's bonding event in there, too, just so I have all the bonding events in one episode there. It's not going to have any kind of... Like, I'm not going to be speaking during it. It's just going to strictly be the, uh, the bonding event itself. So, yeah. Look forward to that. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, you know, they did raise you. Oh, yeah, to follow in your brother's footsteps. That's nice. Oh. I don't know if you can. I mean, you can try. What do you mean? It's like you cheated. What are you talking about? Well, he was. He was a really good guy. He was, like, the best of the best. Oh, Lloyd's really opening him up... Uh, opening him up himself to Ellie. It's sweet. Chasing after your brother's back? Um, don't you mean, like, following in his footsteps? It's kind of weird how they're talking about his back. You know? <laughs> it's just a strange wording or phraseology. Oh. Yeah, Lloyd, you know, don't put yourself down. You've done a lot for us. Oh. Mainly thick headed. <laughs> Also, I do think that of the three bonding events, this really is the most romantic one, and it's really the sweetest one. I like it. 
it, it looks like Lloyd and Tio's is more of like a brother-sister type of relationship, and Randy and um, Lloyd, you really just learn more about Randy's background, actually. I mean, they, they, you know, they're still friends and everything, but you just kind of learn more about Randy himself and the Red Constellation and all that kind of stuff, which is interesting in and of itself, but it's not exactly what I would think of as a bonding event, if you know what I mean. Oh, That's cute. I like it. Believe in yourself and be strong. Yeah, you're just conflicted. <gasps> That's the you that I love. Do you love Lloyd? Are you... Kissed, or at least they were going to kiss. Oh, how sweet! It's about time that they sealed all entrances and exits. Shouldn't they have done that the second that we came in here? Oh. Oh, I guess. Yeah, well, we've already done that, Lloyd. sequel to earlier. <laughs> and Lloyd's like, what? What are you talking about? What? I'm so confused. <laughs> Ellie's like, uh, yeah, Lloyd. We're gonna keep on kissing and making out and Lloyd's so clueless. He's like, huh? I don't know. Aww. Yeah, Lloyd really likes Ellie. It's cute. Of course you're fine just the way you are. That's such a nice bonding event. I really, really like that bonding event right there. Oh, hey, hey. Yeah, and then whoever it is that you bond with, you're going to get like an upgraded combination craft. So, it's kind of nice. And another achievement, bonding with Ellie. So, let's head on back here. She said that she was going to talk to Maria, uh, Maria Bell and all of them, so let's head on over here and uh, see what they have to say. Oh, well, we kind of already did, but thanks. Oh, that is true. Hey there. Are you sleeping? Seriously? That's odd. Oh. Oh, are you, like, faking being asleep, Maria? Well, what's happening over there? Yeah. You're just pretending? <gasps> oh, Ellie can't possibly be indecent now, can she? <laughs> it's really indecent to kiss? Seriously? Um, it was nothing. So, let's get on out of here and head on back down to the first floor. We've talked to everybody, we've redone our supplies and everything, so we should be fine. Oh. And who are you? Oh, hey, we just got done talking to you. Well, that would have been nice, but I think that their telephone line is cut. Oh, what's going on at the front of the gate? Uh, sure. Even though we literally just left your room. But, sure. Yeah, this is kind of the point of no return. At this point, you, um... Yeah, I should have just clicked got off. Um, at this point, you really need to have done everything that it is that you need to get done. All the upgrading, all of everything. Get it done now and you won't regret it because once you go through here we are on the final dungeon trek we're headed down towards the end game yeah what's going on 
Oh no. Oh, well, that's good. Oh, well, yeah. Well, it was kind of obvious that we came through here on a high-speed limousine. A bulletproof high-speed limousine just running down everybody in sight. I loved it. <laughs> there now? Oh no, well, what is it? No kidding, so am I. Oh hell, what's going on now? Cylinder shaped equipment? What are they trying to do? Orville bomb? Holy crap! Gonna bomb the building? Oh no. So they're going to bomb the gate and then storm the building. No kidding. Let's sorty. What does that mean, let's sorty? I think that means, like, prepare tactics or something. There was probably some other game that I played somewhere, some tactical game, where it said to prepare a sorty or something. Maybe it was Front Mission? Maybe it was Valkyria Chronicles? I don't know, but I do remember seeing the word sorty. Some of these games that I've got have played hundreds. <laughs> and one of them somewhere down the road. Um, of course you're going to come with us. This isn't Final Fantasy IV where we leave the girls behind for no frickin' reason at all. Yeah. We'll be fine. Okay. I mean, we've defeated demons and dragons and people on this Gnosis drug and terrorists and cult members. What's a couple army lackeys? Like, we'll be fine. Oh, well, thanks. Oh. We really didn't mean to wake you. I should go back to bed. No. No. You need to stay here. Really? Really, girl? Really? Yeah, take care of them, and we'll leave Zeit here as well. I'm sure he can, uh guard this place also. Oh. Well, thank God for Maria Bell. Being on our side, taking care of the girls and everything. Oh. They're just soulless zombies, but not idiots. Great. Just great. Okay. So remove the bomb and then prevent the soldiers to charge in front of the gates. Got it. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and rest up real quick and then next time on let's play the legend heroes trails of zero we're going to stop the advance on the ibc this has been david if you like this please like comment and subscribe and have a good day